Taking the bottom spot is the grass type, not only because it has the most weaknesses together with rock, more on that later, but also because it's resisted by seven types. Bug is a similar story, only it's better because grass is weak to it. And that's it. For the D tier, both types have more weaknesses than strengths. Opening up the C tier is the Psychic type. In Generation 1, it's one of the broken types together with Dragon, but it got nerfed down in Generation 2 when Dark and Steel types were introduced. Up next is the Ice type, which is actually a good type offensively. Defensively, however, it's held back by the many types that resist it. And just like Psychic, it only resists itself. Ice and Psychic are better than Bug and Grass in a sense that they have lesser weaknesses, yet they still don't have enough strength to cover for said weaknesses. Continuing the C tier is the Normal type, which is the definition of mediocrity at best. Normal types can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ghosts, they have neutral offense against most other types except Rock and Steel, and they have neutral defense against most other types except Fighting. The next three types could have ranked a step higher but they were badly messed up by the fairy type. Still in the seat here is the dark type, which is strong against ghost and psychic, two of the trickier types to deal with, but it got nerfed by the fairy. And closing the seat here is the fighting type, which is the best offensively together with ground, only it was nerfed by the fairy. Now, this is both sad and surprising. Opening up the B tier, we have the dragon type. I know. The issue with dragon type is that while it resists many types, it's only strong against itself. And furthermore, it actually got nerfed twice. In generation 2 by the steel type, and in generation 6 by the fairy type. Next in the B tier we have the rock type, which is an almost their situation. Its strengths are offset by its weaknesses. It's good against fire, ice, flying, bug, normal, and poison, but not so much against fighting, ground, steel, water, and grass. See how that trades off? And while fairy was cruel to some types, it was very kind to some, like the poison type. Not only did it resist fairy, but it's also super effective against fairy. This not so minor change was enough to bring it from C tier to B tier. Wrapping up the B tier is the electric type. It's helpful against common types like water and flying, but it's helpless against ground types. Its only weakness is the worst weakness, to say the least. Opening up the A tier is the flying type, which is actually immune to ground. If the ground type was a parent with two children, I would imagine flying being the favorite child and electric being the hated child. You know that sibling whom you hated but always got the last laugh? That's flying type for you. Taking another spot in the A tier is the Fairy type. Some of the strongest Dragon type Pokemon were created from Generation 6 onwards, and the Fairy type was created to maintain the balance of power. Unfortunately, Dark and Fighting types were also negatively affected. And let's not forget the spooky member of the A tier, the Ghost type. It boasts two immunities in Normal and Fighting, and is only resisted by the Dark type. Still in the A tier is the Ground type. The best offensive type together with fighting and the Achilles heel of electric types. Wrapping up the A tier is our bronze medalist, the water type. Not only does it resist our silver and gold medalist, but it's also only weak to electric and grass, which is easily fixed by the right coverage move. And now for the S tier. Our silver medalist, the fire type, unfortunately tends to land at second best. It's the second best type offensively together with rock and ice, and the second best defensively, resisting itself, the fairy type, and our gold medalist. And that's none other than the steel type. It resists 10 out of the 18 types, namely normal, grass, ice, flying, psychic, bug, rock, dragon, itself, and fairy. Just like the poison type, the introduction of the fairy in Generation 6 made it better. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and let me know what you think in the comments. Also, if you're interested in seeing more content like this, 
make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you're always updated whenever I upload new content. Thanks for watching, stay safe and healthy, and of course, have a great day.